Good morning, Hero Wars fans. In this video, I'll be covering some topics that you should be prepared for before the new game mode starts this fall. In the second half of the video, I will announce the winner of last week's viewer giveaway, so be sure to stay tuned to the end. What? Can't I just skip to the video and get to the announcement of the winners? According to the latest information released by Hero Wars Management Company, the new game mode that will be launched in the fall is called Guild Raid. The game will be divided into two parts, on weekdays, players will spend four days fighting minions, and on weekends, players will join forces with their guildmates to defeat bosses over three days. This video doesn't mention any of the weekday battles against minions, but focuses on the weekend boss battles. Now, from the comments released by the management of Hero Wars, it seems that we need to have five teams of heroes ready for the weekend boss fight. Besides that, the team level that can participate in the new game mode is 65, so we can probably expect the enemies to start at around level 65 in the first game. Based on this, I think the bosses will be easy to beat during the first week of the new game mode. However, this is a big problem for players like me who have been only leveling up the 5 heroes of the main team. Hmm, I'm in trouble. The management of Hero Wars told me that I need 25 heroes to join the new game mode starting in the fall but some of my 25 heroes are level 50. I have a suggestion for you viewers. For the new game mode starting in the fall, I think two things need to happen. The first is to choose the 25 heroes needed to fight the bosses of Asgard and decide how to organize the 5 teams. Secondly, out of the 25 I have chosen, the heroes that are left at a low level, like me, must have absolutely 3 stars for Artifact 1. Using my expertise in mathematical engineering, I found that 5 heroes x 5 teams equals 25 heroes would be needed for the weekend boss fight. Furthermore, the probability of a hero's artifact number 1 skill activating depends on the number of stars in artifact number 1, which means that artifact number 1 must be leveled up to at least 3 stars in order to have a 100% chance of activating. It's good that there's still time before the new game mode starts in the fall, but I don't have enough resources to level up my heroes. As a player who has been playing Hero Wars for over a year, I have 21 heroes that have reached level 130. But for those who have started playing Hero Wars in the last few months, this new game mode will be quite tricky. Because it looks like the management of Hero Wars is just trying to get us gamers to level up a lot of heroes, haha. I can't say for sure because I don't have enough information, but I think we should at least start preparing for the two things I described, the 5 team formations and the leveling up of artifact number 1. My biscuit has already earned an absolute star, was that a bit sarcastic? I'm going to announce the viewer giveaway. Now, last week's viewer giveaway was a bit slow, with 471 entries and a 1 157 chance of winning. So here's the drawing of the winners and the announcement of the winners. Congratulations to the three winners of last week's viewer giveaway, account IDs 3,769,855. 5,318,680, and 4,714,854. The red gift packages for the prizes will be shipped within 24 hours after this video is uploaded, so please wait for the winners. Due to the shortage of red gift packages, we will not be doing a viewer giveaway this week. Now, it's time for the video to end. If you forgot to level up the artifact number 1 star, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.